Henry Cavill has long been rumored as the next actor to take on the iconic role of James Bond, but his 2024 action comedy The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare proves how limited he would be as that character. From action comedy master Guy Ritchie, The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare chronicles the highly exaggerated story of a real World War II operation led by one of the world's first military commando units. Cavill portrays Major Gus March Phillips, a charismatic agent of chaos and the unit's leader, as he and his allies attempt to cripple the German U-boat fleet. While it is technically based on a true story, the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare strays about as far away as a movie possibly could from its source material, in this case the real Operation Postmaster from World War II. The scale of the mission, the makeup of March Phillips' team and the personality of the Major himself were all elevated to create an exciting action comedy. By not aiming for historical accuracy, Guy Ritchie was able to create something uniquely entertaining and the movie is driven by Cavill's deranged portrait of the real Gus March Phillips. The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare uses Henry Cavill better than Bond could. Cavill gets to unleash a more fun, wild side. While Henry Cavill could certainly play the part of James Bond as a handsome and charming Englishman with action chops, a role like that wouldn't use all of his talents. While the older Bond films bordered on cartoonish at times, Pierce Brosnan and Daniel Craig's runs as 007 have been far more grounded and serious, with limited comedy interwoven into the ongoing spy narrative. Cavill has proven that he's capable of that, the man from UNCLE stands out in this regard but it would not take advantage of how devilishly funny Cavill can be when he's allowed to be. The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare fully unleashes Cavill as the unprofessional and borderline maniacal Gus March Phillips and the 41-year-old actor positively shines. While the ensemble cast around him is great, his upturned mustache and sharp-witted humor dominates the movie and many reviews noted that Cavill should have had more screen time. As James Bond, Cavill simply wouldn't have the opportunity to flex his comedy muscles, which would seem like a waste after seeing his performance in the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Henry Cavill still secretly plays James Bond in the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. The real-life version of his character inspired Bond's author. Henry Cavill looks on the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Ironically, Henry Cavill has sort of already played James Bond, albeit in a roundabout fashion. Major Gus March Phillips, the World War II commando that Cavill plays in the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, served as part of the real-world inspiration for Ian Fleming's James Bond character. Fleming himself is portrayed in the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare by Freddie Fox, occupying the role that Fleming played in World War II as a British naval intelligence officer.